Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Um, right, let's resume with the way we left off. We completed uh, with page 63 uh, in the chapter, chapter six uh, on music and worship technology. We've covered all the sound equipment, uh, sound component of the, uh, of the equipments that we discussed until uh, until monitor speakers in page 63 and the need of it, okay? And I hope you were able to all uh, just understand just briefly what it, uh, what it does, okay? And now moving on, we'll go on to the next section, page 64. In this section, we're going to talk about uh, the rec recording equipment, uh, you know, for use in worship settings. Okay, the recording equipment for use in worship settings. Uh, what is the need for it, right? Uh, now, in addition to the equipments mentioned above, in the above section, to record, you'll need a computer digital audio workstation, also known as DAW, D-A-W. Okay, uh, D-A-W is another software that uh, that is used uh, uh, to, to record uh, anything, right? it could be like a simple uh, podcast, uh, you know, if you want to record professionally and whatnot. So for anything that you want to record, uh, you will need a digital audio workstation, okay? And because this is not a sound engineering course, we're not gonna go too much in detail about it. But everything that you need to know about this is available online. So you can, it's like, you can do a sound engineering course for free on YouTube, uh, but, yeah, you get all more all the more information over there. But whether you are a sound technician or a musician, uh, a quality audio interface will always be a priority. Uh, a good, really good audio in interface can make a huge difference to recordings, whether of live music, speech, podcasting, or a church service. Okay. Uh, now, all of this uh, we've learned quite a lot about. Uh, about this in the last year and a half due to the pandemic, isn't it? All of a sudden, the churches, uh, you know, in the rural areas or, uh, or smaller churches that did not think that online uh, recording will be uh, useful, we suddenly had to learn that, hey, recording is very important. Uh, you know, and for the most part, even last year, when the first wave hit, we record. We pre-recorded so many of our services, right uh, at a, at APC. So, to for you to be able to do all that and continue to continue to uh, bless bless your congregation, uh, this is important, right? Being able, knowing how to record, knowing the equipments that are used to record is very important. Okay, so one of which is the audio interface. Okay, and here are a few suggestions. Um, uh, of the brands that you can look into, okay? One is the Focusrite Scarlet 2.2. This is about uh, 14,000 uh, or so. Uh, it's a very small piece of equipment. Uh, but then again, like I said, uh, the prices will range from your need and the brand, or, you know, the quality of equipment that you need. Uh, and the softwares used for recording are, you know, so again, just a few, mention a few is Pro Tools, Logic Pro, Cubase, uh, there are a lot of free softwares out there that you can download uh, for free to record uh, your audio. Okay, so that's that is the audio uh, component of it. And just moving on to the video part. Okay, uh, when churches are first starting to stream, many will mount a single camera in the back of the sanctuary to capture their Sunday sermons. The technology in these gadgets is great for single camera setups and will ensure that you put your best foot forward. So even if you don't feel like you totally know what you are doing yet. So having just one defin high definition camera, if you want just one angle, just investing in one good camera. And like I, I've suggested a couple, but then again, they are not exhaustive. Okay. There's just so many brands, so many good cameras out there that you can invest in. Uh, and now you get good high definition cameras for a, a lot cheaper than it used to be. 
okay so having a good camera to capture you know the video uh, of the church uh, and with the cameras the tripod is very crucial as well okay what is a tripod it's 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 a, it's a simple stand that they mount the camera on the, the camera that's a that's a tripod okay and uh, go investing in a durable and a strong tripod is a must and then with that comes the video editing software okay and some of the softwares that i've seen people in the church office uh, use are uh, they I mean, they use final cut pro um, most of the time they use final cut pro uh, as what's mentioned in the notes uh, and uh, for free, I think you can get iMovie and there's Adobe Premiere Pro. And there's so many software nowadays, guys, uh, that you can you know, download, even get it for free to edit your softwares, okay? Uh, so this is what's related with uh, equipments that are required for recording your audio and your videos, okay? And I think it will be a very good addition to your church and worship ministry, okay? Uh, investing in the audio and the video equipments. And then um, moving to the next section, talk, it talks about the lighting systems for use in worship settings. Uh, just a few guidelines, right? Lighting sets the obvious mood and the atmosphere in the room. Okay, so if it's bright in a room, it is happier, celebratory, etc. And if it's dark in a room, it is more intimate, more private. Um, etc etc okay so that so lighting actually sets a pretty good uh, you know obvious mood or atmosphere it changes the atmosphere it changes the mood in the room okay uh, and the secondly in the b section the lighting should match the mood in the room okay when if it's a if the team is doing like a, a pray a, a fast or you know, up-tempo kind of a song, if there's some celebration thing happening, high amount of lighting in the congregation uh, is, is suggested. Okay, People need to see the role of the congregation in celebration and praise. Uh, and in intimate worship, during the slower songs, uh, you know, during those intimate moments of worship, uh, you reduce the amount of lighting. Okay, uh, It's like this, it gives like this sense of privacy the you know okay kind of getting closer uh, and being intimate in that particular moment so that's what lighting does okay so the effectiveness of our worship times will increase as the worship team the sound team and the lighting team are working in one purpose of bringing glory to jesus and serving his church okay the effectiveness of our worship times will increase okay now definitely all of this you know uh Having said, we've spoken about the audio recording, video recording, the equipments, and all the fancy equipments, uh, including the lighting and whatnot. All of that is not going to bring God's glory down. Just having a fancy equipment, fancy expensive cameras and, and whatnot, having the best lighting, the softwares, and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we can have all of that and yet miss out on the glory. And you, can, and you can have none of it and still your congregation be filled with the presence of God, right? So in all of this, uh, please don't get anything wrong. Uh, you know, if, if, if your church does not have any of these equipments and whatnot, it's absolutely fine. But it's, it's one of the good things to work towards. But equipments should not be a, a, an area of distraction. You get what I'm saying, right? Uh, it should not be like, okay, if on, God will come down only if this kind of lighting is there on stage. <laughs> okay, uh, that should not be the intentions of our heart. Um, everything, right? The whole, everything that we do is to serve, is to minister unto God better and to serve his people better, right? If we can record good quality audio, if we can record good quality video, and if it's going to serve our congregation better, go for it, right? Uh, if, if your room, if the room that you're renting uh, or your building does not have enough natural light and it's very dark, all the time, investing in a good lighting system 
it's nothing wrong with it right but again like we've discussed so many times in the spiritual aspect of it is as a worship leader and as a worshiper all you're focused is about getting on stage and being under the spotlight um we are missing the whole point isn't it okay so the whole point of all this chapter is is that okay we can have all of this but then you know jesus is always the focus of it all and finally uh the projection software we people need to see the lyrics isn't it of the songs that we sing of the of the sermons that you preach you know yes we can use uh, powerpoint and what not um which is great it 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 works it it's functional it gets the job done right using powerpoint and slides and what not uh but then there are some of these extra professional softwares that you can use we can use uh so one of them a uh, couple of them is pro presenter now there's version 7 and 8 that's come out okay so a pro level presentation software for churches um it is it's good and there's another brand called other software called proclaim uh, which is very similar to pro present okay so it's, it's another alternative uh one of the earlier softwares uh present projection software was was uh easy worship and media shout okay um so all of these are uh, the projection softwares that you can you know start investing in for your church as well and some of the tools that are available uh you know for the training of your worship team members of worship ministry that you can uh, there are a lot of resources uh to equip your your team guys okay uh youtube of course there is no shortage of lessons on youtube on 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 the teachings of worship there are hundreds and hundreds of podcasts uh free tutorials trainings on on youtube and resources available um on youtube and and the few additions that you can look at is bethel school of uh worship uh there's a uh an online course if you want to if you are led to pursue your worship and worship uh, ministry studies you can look into that worship initiative by shane and shane and is another uh lead worship by paul belosh uh, hill song uh and and praise charts etc etc so th- these are all uh uh you know just websites for you, for you to get some free resources okay uh that this is all about chapter 6 right it's about worship technology in worship ministry um so does anybody have any questions guys and please forgive me this my internet seems to be a little unstable there was a heavy rains last night uh, if my voice is breaking and what not uh, i apologize but i hope you were able to follow the chapter 6 until now but uh, any questions any thoughts that you want to ask or share about the importance of sound system uh hi pastor yes there uh not a question but a a kind of suggestion yes uh, well if you if you yourself are uh, a lead pastor or senior pastor you are uh, you are free to i mean uh to get the the the, the devices instrument that you require yes. i mean that that your worship team needs but yes. just l- like you mentioned before if you if you are not a lead pastor or you are you are just a worship leader or you are in a worship team but you know you need certain things yes but the the board or the the the, the leadership uh, yeah. has denied or doesn't that doesn't uh, get approved so in such situation uh well you know you you need your worship team need your church need Yes. in the in that situation what can we do or how can we uh, convince or how can we let them know that this certain things are uh, are necessary yes um, uh, necessary how can we uh, we convince them or let them know uh, if uh, if there's something that uh, you can suggest me with yes dev uh but i'm not sure if you you will like the answer that i have um uh, but you know when i when we started off this chapter right uh, i said that it's uh it's very unfortunate or sad that 
most of the leaders might, uh, you know, they have either two aspects to it. One is um, they don't have the funds for it. And the second aspect is uh, perspective is that they just don't see the need for it. They, you know, they think that it's a waste of money investing in any of these equipments. Uh, instead, they would, uh, you know, they would invest that fund uh, for something else for the church or whatever that may be. Uh, and uh, and I've been part of both such kinds of uh, of leadership. Um, but the thing is, like you know, as as a member who is not a staff, who is just another volunteer, or who part of the worship team members, all we can do is just ask and suggest, you know, that this is going to help. This is going to help. Uh, can we buy this? You know, because this is going to enhance. Uh, but if if you're kind of the one of the important like the main worship leaders that's main worship coordinators that you're coordinating everything for your for that location of your church uh it's important that you have like a priority list of equipments right uh for example you the, it's important to have microphones and if you don't have microphones and if you uh you know just have you're not going to invest in uh uh, an FX processor or an equalizer, right? So uh, make a list of the equipments that are uh, important, prioritize them. Okay, now we have the microphones. Uh, the next is we need to get um, a mixer, right? Or an amplifier. So one thing at a time, uh, convince, you know, uh, this. you make a suggestion, that's all you can do, right? You say, you know, we, we need this. It's not just a want, it's a need. Right. So after you've done what you have to do, um, the only other thing you can do is uh, honor the leadership. Uh, you know what should what why what we should be careful with is uh, when the leadership denies something. Uh, the 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 enemy can use that to cause bitterness or offense in our hearts. So the first thing I would say is, you know, just keep that uh, heart in check. Don't give the enemy a foothold to use uh, the denial of the leadership of your request to turn that into bitterness. Okay, so continue to honor the leadership, continue to be patient uh, with them. And this is why I said, you know, you're not going to like the answer that I'm going to give, but continue to honor them. Uh, and 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 the leadership will see right uh, that eventually that okay hey he's been asking this for a while and he's been patient and he's been uh, you know, honorable about it uh, he hasn't made a scene uh, he hasn't said I'm gonna leave the church or etc cetera, etc cetera, right um, and whatnot but you've made your request you've uh, given like a a logical explanation and a presentation of your needs and then now it's up to them isn't it. Uh, because they are the leaders. So uh, in that season, I would suggest you to continue to honor them and wait and, uh, and yeah, and hopefully uh, things work out for good there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but on your part, just, uh, you know, if you can just work on that list, the priority list of equipments, what is needed, uh, you know, se separate that list from um, top priority or urgent, to uh, the wants, okay, these are all the luxury stuff, okay, you know, we don't really need them, but when we have all the basic stuff, we can, you know, slowly save up for them and add um, them to our uh, high Yes, Pastor. Okay. So. My, my other, the other concern is, you know, in, during this pandemic, we all know at least we need a, uh, at least a two channel, sound interface at least yes so, so while we just record by a camera and or, or a mobile phone it, it, it's not that bad but the, the the quality of the sound is not uh, not very professional or yes uh, so in in the situation we uh, how can we uh, make them know the difference between the quality of the sound Mm -hmm. just through recording by a camera or a phone and and through a sound interface i mean how do we let them know is by playing an example 
uh, and showing them that uh, like a difference between uh, audio and video that's recorded with the, using good equipment and and uh, audio video recorded using just a phone and you know um, the thing is last year again when the first wave hit that's how we recorded uh, you know we, um, we like no, none of us were prepared, right? You don't study about this in any Bible college. It's like, okay, in this year, you're going to be hit with pandemic. Everybody is going to go online. <laughs> not, not, nothing prepares, uh, you know, for something like that, that isn't it? So similarly, like uh, everybody else, we were unprepared, but we had to improvise on the fly. So what we did is, like for worship ministries, is like uh, worship leaders, guys, record a worship set on your phone uh, and send it. So for a solid one month or so that is how we managed right for one month because of the lockdown and everything we couldn't go out anywhere so the worship leaders in their home not everybody also again not everybody has uh, an interface okay let me just show you what an interface looks like uh, a lot of things connected here but i'll take it give me one second guys so what Dave is actually talking about, this is a an, an DAW, like a digital audio workstation, right? Uh, so this acts like a bridge between the computer, okay, and my instrument, my keyboard, or a guitar, whichever. So uh, you see it has two uh, inputs here, right? So I will use one input for the mic. I, I use, um, I've seen this, see, so this is one mic here, <laughs> okay? A lot of things are falling. So I use one channel for the mic. So this this is a small interface. It has only two channels. That means I can connect only two instruments at a time. Okay, and this is about ten thousand rupees or so. Yeah, ten thousand, twelve thousand. So one channel for the mic and the other channel for the keyboard or the guitar. Um, so now because it's expensive, isn't it? Twelve twelve thousand. Not everybody in the worship team has. Uh, even now, not everybody has uh, has these. Um, but if there's like a main worship leader, uh, you know, investing in this uh, will will surely help. Like recording all the audio in this and capturing the video in a high definition, and then playing and showing them the difference. See, do you see the difference? This is the clarity. Um, and I ho again just hope that they, you know, they agree and uh, invest in a simple one like this yeah they... yeah Pastor. yeah thank god you are uh, uh, i mean you we do have some some of the members who are uh, willing right. to help and they they, yeah. they come up with, with uh, yeah. at least uh, god is god has been uh, yeah. at least providing to, to the members so uh, like the, the members who I mean, the, the world. Yeah. We're, we're thank God for that. And it's been a great help for us. Yeah. Praise God for that, Dave. Yeah. I mean, uh, also, it's amazing to see how God has sustained his church uh, through the pandemic, right? Uh, through the ups and downs. And I think this is one of the lowest points that uh, everybody, the whole world, and but the church has, you know, had to endure and we've had to learn to adapt and improvise. Um, and I started, in all honesty, this thing was in a box for I don't know how many years and I, I didn't really use it. I took it out and I started using it only after the pandemic came in to record, uh, you know, everything and uh, bought on mic uh, and all of that. So, uh, yeah. Any other questions, guys? Uh, Thomas, uh, Prince, Kiran, uh, how, how, is the, how is the technical aspect of uh, the church in your in your church? Any challenges that you'll face, Kanan? Actually, currently we didn't buy any uh, uh, technical. But uh, I was there in the ministry for almost five years. I have seen uh, this mixer, my sure of what you showed, sure, it's a 58 and one more cordless. I forgot the uh, model name, but uh, yeah. that's cost 32,000 cordless, very expensive. 
that ministry always has spent a good amount of money for the technical side sound craft mixer and uh, jbl speakers uh, very uh, good instruments they will buy snake cable and all so mm-hmm. that pastor used to say whenever you do for the kingdom father so you have to do the best and that yeah. will uh, use for the uh, enhance the kingdom of god so mm-hmm. as you showed us some pictures i was recollecting it so yeah. pray in coming days we should have a very good epi- equipments in the church yeah Yeah. Yeah, thanks Thomas. Yeah, I think uh, you know when we say best equipments and what not, uh it's it's to the best of our ability, you know. Our best might not necessarily be the best of another church or another ministry and what not. Uh are you able to do uh you know the best you can uh in your ministry? And I think that's an important question to ask yourself. So uh yeah. Thank you for sharing. Anybody else? Uh Kiran Kanan. Yeah. as you said uh, the financial matter is also you know always uh, think about to buy the things yes yes uh, that also depends on the ministry uh, yes. growth stage and the capability to slowly have to uh, buy one one things at the time yes, cannot yeah. for the financial strains correct yeah absolutely and see i think just like any other organization even if you studied in a church music and ad- not music administration church administration uh is also budgeting right now we make budget for uh you know so many different things isn't it like uh, for the church okay we have a budget for let's say a church family outing in different various things isn't it so if you have a budget uh like a savings plan for just okay sound system uh the church is going to put in set aside just 500 rupees monthly and then at the end of the year we can in buy you know use that to buy an equipment that we need and etc etc i can have a plan like that will also work i'm talking to us pastors you know our leaders that will be so yeah yeah so pastor yes giving the the lockdown the first wave and the second wave when when you were in a complete lockdown how how did you manage uh, the worship and the sermon um, was it how to record at the house and send it to google drive or something yes yes yeah that's how it was it it or so yes it, so everyone did in their house right yeah everyone did it in their house oh. yeah Uh, okay. all those files were sent either via google drive or we transfer you know oh, uh, what not and i think uh, there was also a time when only you know we have this swiggy or dunzo so uh, we'll we'll put all the heavy files in a hard disk or a pen drive and send it to the media team uh, you know all the all those dramas was happening okay sending the laptop from there to here <laughs> and sending the laptop back to them and all of that um then once the lockdown eased a little bit uh, uh the media team would go to pastor's house to uh, record his sermons but otherwise even the pastor would record his sermons uh, you know with the camera that he had and send it to the media team so everything was happening online yeah so uh yeah it's pretty okay. challenging I can, uh, yeah i can relate that we we are still we are still on the- and the same thing we are not physically open yet okay right, right. so yeah but yeah, yeah what thank god uh, now people can come at this uh, for the for the recording uh, purpose yeah. and yeah. come record and then go yeah and i think uh, in my experience another suggestion is uh, which i've also seen is people need a good audio a little bit better than the video so uh, you know if i'm if i'm sharing a video you know for us on the class uh although you can see the video one of the first things everybody will immediately complain or say is sir we can't hear there's no audio right uh and you know and also in the zoom meetings and and what not uh if if people can see you and cannot hear you and if the audio quality is not well because of internet connections or what not uh the interaction is not going to be their engagement is not going to be at the same level 
Um, so yeah, sound system, investing in sound system is never going to let you down. You know, good sound system is never going to let you down. OK. Uh, well, if there's nothing else, uh, we what we'll do is I, I'll stop the session here. OK, uh, and we'll resume the next session uh, next week. OK, guys, and uh, I hope you've been learning something and take time to invest in some tech, uh, technical stuff. What I will do after the class is I will upload uh, an Excel sheet um, that has every possible uh, collection of, of technology that you, you know, that, that you can use in, in ministry. Okay, it's like, uh, it's, it's gonna help, uh, help you. Um, okay, so I'll share that once the class is done on the stream section. So please download, download it and use it. Okay. All right, then. Uh, thanks, everybody for joining in. We are finishing class much earlier today. Um, than usual, but uh, yeah, we'll resume next class. Okay, take it guys. Bye bye. Thank, thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you.